Understanding modern reels is a critical element in choosing the right gear. Here are the things you need to know before buying your next reel. Size. Size can be broken down into several different number systems here. Shimano, Daiwa, and Pan all use a typical system to rate their reels in a 300 or 400 size for a normal size musky application reel, uh, 500 being a large oversize. In Abu Garcia, common musky size reels are 50 and 60 models, 60 being the most popular choice, and it's comparable to a 400 in a Pan, Daiwa, or Shimano. In Akuma, very similar, 300 and 400 size models are often categorized. What is an oversized reel? This is an example of an oversized reel. Gear ratio. Gear ratio is an important consideration when choosing your reel as well. Very important with musky fishing. It determines how quick you can bring a bait in or how slow you can bring a bait in. Tempo is everything. Most common gear ratios are somewhere between five and eight. For example, a 6.1 gear ratio reel means that every time you turn the handle of the reel one complete revolution, the spool is turning 6.1 times around. The higher the gear ratio, the quicker the line pickup. Line per turn. Almost really a more critical category than gear ratio because of the vast different sizes as previously mentioned in the reels. It's all about the spool size. A small spool size with a high gear ratio might have the same line per turn as, say, an oversized reel with a lower gear ratio. Line per turn in common musky retrieves is usually somewhere between 25 and 40 inches. What that means is every time you turn the handle completely once around in a 30 inch line per turn rated reel, you'd be bringing in 30 inches. 30 inches is a good starting point for an all purpose situation. But as you get closer to 40 inches of line per turn, that is definitely considered high speed. Certain baits like um, fishing soft plastics, some jerk baits that require quick line pickup, this is where this comes in really handy. Other advantages to a slower gear ratio, say 30 inches or slightly below. Most crankbait situations, some topwaters, if you're not using a gear ratio that's simply too high. Low profile versus round reels. Common terminology for today's reels is low profile is the trend. This is an example of a low profile reel. You can see how one side is usually has a uh, drop down for the gears and everything. The reel sits very low on the on the reel seat, can be easily palmed, and has almost a lighter feel to it. Round reels traditionally are this shape, sit slightly higher, and are a little bit more simplistic in their layout internally. Paddle handle versus power. Power handles are now being offered on most reels, either as an option or as a stock feature. Usually you have this shape to them. They have one knob, paddle handles, those run two knobs. Right versus left. This may be a little bit overly simplistic, but right hand retrieves are the most common. Many models are only available in right hand retrieve. The handle's on the right side of the reel doesn't mean necessarily it's for right-handed users. Left hand, left hand reels have the opposite. They have the handle on the left side of the reel. Bait clicker. Bait clickers are still available on certain reels. They are also called line out alarms. Almost all line counter type reels like this one here have a line out alarm. Bait clicker refers to live bait fishing with musky suckers where they come in handy audibly. Line counters. Line counter reels have a device where you can visibly see how much line you have out. Reset it at any point. Very handy when used with precise trolling. Drag. All the musky reels we sell have strong drags. Common drag weights are usually between 20 and 25 pounds. More than enough for fishing muskies. The star drag, as it's commonly called on most reels, is the adjustment area for increasing or decreasing the drag tension. Always make sure your drag is tight when you start fishing each day. It should be functioning. You should be able to pull out line, but make sure that it's not slipping. The spool tension adjustment knob. This is located in this area on a right-handed reel. Circular device that can be spun clockwise to increase the spool tension and opposite to decrease it. This can be simply checked when setting up your reel. Put on the lure of choice, Hold the rod horizontally, 
to press the spool button which is located here and let go of your thumb. If the lure drops and the spool continues to spin, tighten the spool tension knob slightly. This can be fine-tuned for a lure and that's a good starting point for your casting tension. Variable braking. Some reels have a system on the side plate or sometimes within the side plate internally that you can adjust the variable braking. This is a fine-tuned feature which is very helpful and useful when casting light lures not the most critical element when casting heavy musky lures. Weight. Many common size musky reels are in the 12 to 14 ounce range. This is light for a reel, fairly standard on a 400 or a 60 size reel, which are the most commonly sold. As you get into the oversized reels, as the oversized reels are quite a bit bigger with larger spools, commonly the weight of those approach 20 ounces. Hopefully this makes it just a little bit easier when choosing your next muskie reel. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Hey, you want to catch more muskies? Check out the muskie shop.